I'm the girl from Brooklyn who's in Cape Cod at the moment and the Wi-Fi is not great. So if we got cut off, I will be back. I'm here to teach you how to make money. We often get phone calls from practices all over the country and even outside the country to tell us about their hurdles that they are facing every day. A lot of it has to do with staff and we'll get into that later and in future um, episodes as well. Beautiful Forever University, because of my background in education, and I'll go into that in a little while, we're here to educate and we're here to teach you on an ongoing basis. Stay live, stay tuned in to Facebook as well as Beautiful Forever University is in the process of launching right now and we'll be able to soon have a private group and membership programs. And we're very excited and when we have it all together, we will be in touch with you on that. But business and practices are one of the same these days. Everybody that calls us from all over the country has very similar issues. And how do you get past these issues? If you're a physician or you own a med spa or you're in any kind of business or practice, Business today has changed. Retail healthcare. It's all about the retail. It's all about customer service. And it's all about, do you have the right staff? Does your staff have the right attitude? Do they have the right knowledge? Are they customer service savvy? Being customer service savvy is so important. We've all been to spas and Four Seasons hotels and we know how you're treated. That's the way somebody should be treated from the minute they enter your practice to the time that they leave your practice. We all overcome business challenges. Every year, as businesses grow and develop, more and more things are changing in this world. We're in a 24 seven world today. So not only somebody answering the phones in your office, but somebody who's emailing or texting back on your behalf has to be trained and also has to know your vision and your mission as the business owner. I always say it starts at the top. So don't let somebody else do the interviewing and hiring unless you approve of the staff. Maybe you need to choose the right staff and look at the staff you have now and really see if maybe it needs to be reevaluated. You might have to go back and reevaluate. Look at your job descriptions and maybe you need to figure out, okay, with these new procedures we're bringing in, do we have the right staff? I'm no longer an all insurance based practice. We take questions and comments and I'd like to be able to answer them for you. If I don't answer them today, I absolutely will answer them. And for those of you who know me know that I'm always there and follow up is a key for me and for my team. And it should be for your team as well. So if you have any questions or comments, we are very happy to take them through Facebook Live. You can ask us at any time or you can email me at Cheryl at BeautifulForever.com. Beautiful Forever has live blogs and articles and information We're all about educating. And my background going back again into education went to Brooklyn College. Before Brooklyn College, I started to work when I was 14 years old. And before that, I was working babysitting. I was always in the aesthetic and fashion field. I was always in sales. It became something very natural to me. But you're looking for people that have skills and a skill set that meet your practice. You don't want to use car salesmen if you are a very mellow practice and you're not looking to sell. We always say we want you to educate, not sell. But you need to grow with the changing times. And there is a lot of competition out there. You're aware of it, we're aware of it. Just Google it and you'll see how much competition there is, whether you put in a brand product name or you put in um, a procedure, you will see who's coming up first. With experience, we all learn what we need to do. We all learn what we need for our business, for ourselves. What makes you happy? What are your goals? As consultants, we try to help you to reach your goals and your potential. You really need to know what it is, where are you going? Maybe it's an exit strategy in the next five or 10 years that we need to help you to communicate and I guess focus on and create some documentation for. Most practices don't have budgets. They don't have plans. We will help you to do that. And it is something that you should really think about. Even if you start by just writing down some notes for yourself on the pros and cons of a piece of equipment or the pros and cons about a staff member. 
We've helped hundreds of practices to be successful, and we're always out there to help. With a, almost 30 years experience, that's for me, that's if I added up everybody else in, in um, Beautiful Forever's team, we're talking about a couple of hundred years old. But often people ask me about my background. You've helped hundreds of practices be successful. What about yourself? Well, there were ups, there were downs, and often, you know, people go through life changes, like I went through a divorce. Things change. I had my own spa in Fort Lee, New Jersey, called Face Fantasy. And then I had my first, and I think the only one in the state of New Jersey for Dr. David Goldberg, I opened up a skincare center in New Jersey. And it was the first medical spa skincare center um, of its kind. And that was going back, I would say a good 20 years ago, if not more. Then I went into full-time consulting and product development. And from there, Beautiful Forever Consulting has grown and we have staff members that are with us a long time, and then we're always looking to hire new staff members as we grow. But the backbone of any business is your staff. You need to know that you're in the room doing a procedure, doing a surgery. What's going on outside? What's your closure rate with consultations? Examine your staff and interview them to make sure that they fit the current positions. You have a staff member that's with you 15 years, 20 years. What do you do? Do you keep them? Do you let them go? That's a question that we're often asked. But do they fit? Is it worth keeping them in the practice? That's something that only you can answer. As consultants, we do come in and do assessments of practices, and we will assess the staff as a team, and we will assess them individually. But you have to think about it, because you don't want to look back and say, I should have, I could have, um, and, Maybe I should have gotten rid of that person. Maybe they were starting trouble in the office and you didn't realize where it was really starting from. That's where an office manager's job is very important. And often the office manager needs to be evaluated. And that's again where consultants come in. But don't think that you could change a person completely. You can't. You absolutely cannot. Think about your ex-husband or ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend. You can't go around thinking you're going to hire somebody, have a relationship with somebody, which it is a relationship, and you're going to change them. You can teach certain people certain things. You can give them scripts and roles. But if they're looking at this as just a job from nine to five and going home, that's not really what you want. You want somebody who's looking for a career, a career where you can give them career moves and they can move up in your practice or in your business. Customer surveys. Are important find out from your patients or your customers how they feel being in the practice and that could just be three or four simple questions that you can e-blast out and survey monkey or you can hand out at your front desk but you have to continue to teach all of your staff ongoing don't think we taught them we had some courses a few months ago and we're gonna have a meeting every month that won't work you need to have meetings on a regular basis and the meetings are very important the meeting should not be only negative or what's happening in the practice that is bad it should be about everything beautifully profitable i am very proud as most of you who have been following me know that the book is going into its fifth edition and beautifully profitable is a book that i've compiled of many years of work to help you in your practice or in your business to succeed you can use this book and pick any page and have a meeting, a 15 minute staff meeting every week, every month, whatever it takes, get everybody involved. You want to be beautifully profitable. You want your staff to be on board and you want everybody to understand what is going on in the practice. Beautifully profitable, you can find on amazon.com. And if you go on to the website, beautifully profitable, you can use the discount code live, L-I-V-E, like we are today on Facebook. So get your copy of the fifth edition and it's in print right now and the ebook version should just about be ready. I actually added a section on Facebook Live so I can be very up to date um, with teaching you what you need to do. But we're always looking for your questions. I am always looking for your comments and what you would like to hear me teach you and talk to you about. I can go on for hours and hours, but I won't. I'll keep it short so I can keep you attentive and listening but 
The next show we're going to have is going to be on marketing and the marketing challenges. And I'm sure a lot of you have those as well. So we're happy to answer any of your questions. And I am trying to now see the questions that we have. Um, and can Beautiful Forever assist um, in interviewing um, on location? We can. We do travel. We are able to put ads out, look at resumes, talk to people on the phone. Remember, the phone skills are very important. So we're able to actually help you in many ways without even being on site. But we also teach you and teach your office managers what they need to do ongoing. Same thing when we teach you, you know, the training of the staff. So once you get the training down pad and your manager or your practice coordinator is able to train, then they could retrain and retrain. But remember, training is important and it has to be ongoing. It cannot stop. Don't ever think, just like yourself, if you're a physician or a provider listening to this right now, you know that your education must be ongoing. You have to get your CME credits. You have to be at your meetings. You have to be reading and keeping up to date. And that's what you need to do for your staff. You can do your staff a great favor by sending them to a meeting. And there's some meetings that are better than others depending on your multi-specialty, your specialty, or what it is you want the staff to learn. I'm happy to advise on the ones that I know about anyway, um, which ones would be best for your practice. Next, I'll be at the ASPS in California, and that's um, in the middle of September. And I'd love to see you there. If you're going to be there, I would like very much to meet with you and we do free consults and all you have to do is email me or text me so we will be happy to take your questions I know that somebody earlier today um, was asking questions about their staff and now that they brought in two new partners into the practice things were going to change and some of the staff had old bad habits and they didn't want to change they didn't want to see new doctors coming in to the practice what should they do the truth of the matter is that you have to adapt and if not, you need to hire new staff because as your business evolves, the staff needs to fit into place. Remember, this is an aesthetic world we're in. So looking the part, the customer service savviness, making people feel comfortable, even doing a consultation, which we'll get into in future talks. And I will be doing one in, I think it is September. But really, during the consultation, you have to bond and build that relationship. How do you start that? How do you start the conversation? How do you make people feel comfortable? Well, one of them is just trying to be yourself. Try to look at somebody straight in the eye, try to listen, and to really try to pay attention to what they're saying to you. So that also turns around to myself and my staff and yourself and your staff. We need to listen, we need to learn. Doesn't mean we need to get involved in everybody's personal business, but we need to know what is going on. And could they handle the workload? Everybody's workloads are different. Most physicians or providers say, oh, I'm in the OR three, four days a week. There's nothing for my staff to do. You don't realize how much there really is for your staff to do. Between the 24 seven world of marketing and management and organizing all of your charts and staying compliant, there is a lot to do. So uh, again, um, visit us in two weeks. We're back on with your marketing and marketing challenges. Don't be surprised if you do press the button for notifications when you're on Beautiful Forever Aesthetic Consulting Facebook page. There is something new where you push the notification button. You will get notified if I go live. I will go behind the scenes. I will do some special interviews and I might just pop up one day, not on schedule, which is every other Wednesday. Um, and so I look forward to seeing you and talking about marketing challenges. And that will be in two weeks from today. And I will answer all of your questions and comments. And if you missed this live, everything's archived on beautifulforever.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.